Yeah, mom, what's going on? I'm out here at uh, NEXC Hillside Acres. Uh, and this place is beautiful out here. Nice day. Uh, they said they got dumped on the rain last night, but uh, everything got, the rain got sucked into the ground. So I'm here and uh, I'm at the whole shot. My whole shots have been crappy, but we'll start from here. And obviously you're gonna do a couple little uh, hairpin turns as always, and then we'll head into the woods. So thanks again to Ronnie, Seth, uh, all the uh, NEXC crews. Uh, Jennifer, uh, Sydney, and all of them for letting me come out here and uh, give you guys this exclusive track preview. So let's hit it. 10 seconds. Somerset races with GNCC, you'll remember if you've ever been out there too, you'll remember the track is kind of rocky. So, uh, what Ronnie was saying and Jennifer, this ground is very hard packed and has some rocks. So, we're going to go at it. Could be another uh, Tennessee. <laughs> Let's go see. Alright, so we're into the woods. Nice fresh section right here. Oh, Kickers and tight pine. Be careful. Right here. This could uh this could end your, end your day shortly. A little off camera too. So be careful. Into the woods. The pines. Remember the Nirvana song? Alright, so this looks all like a fresh cut or up the hill. I forgot to ask, but we got four miles on this side. And then we'll cross the street. So right here we got a little split section within that first half mile. Watch it, we got a kicker. So obviously you can see very rocky, but not big rocks. You know, it's just little boulder stuff, so. All right, a little downhill right here. Watch the trees. Into a little field section. Probably will dust up by Saturday by the adult bikes. Hopefully no more rain or if we get a little bit. We'll probably suck it up, but right now it looks perfect. That's your first little mud hole right there. <laughs> you want to call it a mud hole. Into the fern section. I used to love her ferns. Got an X right there, so be careful. So you got your first little little rock garden. Nothing bad. But we're trudging along. Ooh, watch that rock in the middle. Could be a bottom scraper. Yeah, I don't remember coming out here last year. I tell you the truth. I, ooh, bottom scraper. Two big rocks right here. Be careful. Hit that one, could throw you. Beautiful right here. Oh wait, I'm I'm uh, I'm sitting here daydreaming, watching, uh, looking at the uh, the land, and I'm not keeping my eye on the track. Oh whoa! All right, so uh, it's like we come in here, a little rocky, a little rock section. Make sure you get those shocks dialed in. I'm in for Tennessee. <laughs> and it's probably a good track to get ready, actually, for snowshoe. Um, you know, it's going to be a rocky track. And then you're going to have uh, Beckley coming up, which is also a rocky track. You have CJ, one of my favorites, right? John Penn. Okay, so we got a mud section right here, but it looks like there's uh, two ways through, a little short way here. This outside. If you miss it, <laughs> little grass, fresh section. I like it. All right. So also, I might be bringing something special for some other people too. 
so stay tuned. Little downhill rocks. Also be careful, uh, we'll be crossing the main road I think twice. So right here we're gonna jump back onto maybe an old section that's recut. Uh-oh, water hole. Take the outside, looks like some froggies in there. Out of the woods into the field, uh, left hand. Ronnie said Seth and those guys are building up the berms. Don't want anybody sliding off track. Little gravel. Nice section. Yeah, they, I mean, if they got rained on last night, this ground really sucked it up. So if you're looking for a rocky track this weekend to get ready for snowshoe, make sure you get your butt out here to uh, Berlin, PA. Not Berlin, Germany. Alright, so uh, black will head up that way, it looks like, and red and youth track will make a sharp turn here. <laughs> I haven't seen any mile markers, uh, so I'm not sure where mile marker we're at, but come out here to a nice uh, pond, and there uh, looks like a little tent out here. Got a bridge. This could be a fresh cut section. Take this out along by the bridge. Right? Yeah, okay. Somebody maybe, oh, that's for, uh, not sure, but. <laughs> nice little uh, secret pond out here. That's pretty cool. All right, so uh, back into the wood. Oh, that looked like a nice little cross right there. So let's go back into the woods. Oh man, it's going to be a fun track. I can already tell. I mean, just by the weather and the condition of the soil, it's going to be nice. Alright, so uh, you got a little two-liner right here. We'll go up the inside. sporting my west coast uh you know my west coast uh riding boots <laughs> sporting the bands just out here for a cruise bringing you guys some good action a little off camber turn here rocks remember right now we're just on the youth and adults so switch back there for micro but well, i'm sure we'll get back on to it micro may just stay on this side while we'll, uh, like I said, cross the street about the four miles. So be careful, you said, crossing the street. Make sure, I think we're gonna stop you guys. All right, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, it's left right there. Blind as a bear. All right, not, ooh, little, uh, I like these little valley, little, little old stream bed. It's gonna be cool. Uh oh, got a little, uh, Got a little uphill right here to get out of here, so give yourself a little extra chance. Woo! Come out of there. Oh, it's beautiful in here. A little up and down. Danger. A little danger section. Alright, so back in. Got, uh, got the roots. Look at this, man. How beautiful is this section in here. This kind of is going to remind you a little bit of snowshoe, too, with the ferns and the pines. So, oh, shit. Stalled her. Uh, so make sure, like I said, make sure, ah. If you want a rocky track, get your bike dialed in for snowshoe. Bring it here, baby. This is snowshoe -esque. Section. You can go in there, it looks like, but you might uh, oh, you can come out of there. Oh, there's a little inside right there, I missed it. It's funny, the track.
track previews I've done and if I raced, I don't even remember the track. You know, it's like I'm looking at so many other things and talking, not really concentrating. <laughs> so, how about last weekend? Great race, power line, I mean, uh, high point. Awesome. Sorry I didn't come out and film on Sunday, but the uh, crash I took on the quad kind of uh, rendered me uh, <laughs> kind of walkless. I had a big uh, knot on my knee going into the tree, basically uh, hitting that stupid log the way I did. The log was a little off camber, and, uh, but anyways, yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, we're getting in here to a, uh, yeah, a minute. This is like, I feel like I'm in snowshoe. Uh-oh, I see mud. Now this may or may not get nasty. Um, so, depends how much it dries up today. But, you got an outer section over here you can take. Some people will just come flying in through it. Here you got a split line. Nice to have split lines out here, especially for the slower riders like me. <laughs> Give the faster ones a chance to chance to pass. Uh oh, where am I going? Uh oh. Oh no, that's that was mud, but man, let me tell you, that they had a good base to it. Oh, we got a little jump right here. It's like a little coal section. I like that. That was a nice little transition. All right, so we got two lines out here. Obviously, I took the probably slower. Tighter line there. Got some water. I don't feel like there's mud today. Coal section. Might have been a strip mine or something at one time. Got a little nasty coal section. Oh, and also there's something nice on this track. I don't know if they rode it last year or not, but uh, motocross track. So, yeah. Got a little motocross track action for you guys that like a little uphill.
Colorado Trail. And it looks like we got a little uh, uphill climb right here. Uphill. What else would you have on a hill climb? Not a downhill hill climb. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Mabel went up that okay. Whoa, rocks up here. Be careful. back in. <laughs> Careful, it's tight right there. So, uh, I don't know how it says three. Uh, that's three miles here. Or... So we're trudging, trudging. Oh yeah, rocks, rocks, rocks. My daughter's bike definitely not set up. Rocks. And uh, off 
fresh cut, move some logs, fallen timber.
junk. Cut section of rocks. 
year's gonna be a lot different. I don't, I don't know what uh, is gonna happen next year. We'll just have to wait and see. Like I said, uh, <laughs> YouTube doesn't pay shit, so I do this basically, you know, for you guys and, you know, just the fun and to be able to come out and do this. Be careful, it's a little downhill. Got a lot, got a lot of junk in there. Got a lot of, uh, you can't really see it's grassy, but it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of rocks, a lot of, uh, stuff that could end your day. <laughs> so be careful. But hey, you know, this is cross country racing. And, uh, not everybody does it. And some people that think they can do it come out and try it. And, uh, they go home quickly. Or they sell their bike quickly. Because they think, oh shit, I ride a four wheeler out in the woods all the time. Yeah, come out and ride it hard for uh, two hours and see what it's like. Even dirt bikes, you know, I'm not, <laughs> they're all, they're all hard to do. In certain situations, tell you in the mud, quad's got the advantage for me anyways. I'm not a mud rider. And uh, after power line, you know, I figure, shit, I can ride anything now. <laughs> but... You know. All right, so that was a long, well, we're still going downhill. So this is a, a long, 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 long downhill. But that top section up there, be careful. Like I said, it's got a lot of, a lot of stuff. Now this is gonna be tough too because the leaves on the ground, you're not gonna be able to see. So this is probably an old track from last year. So it still should be pretty good. next year you know grandkids and stuff I mean obviously not gonna be old enough to ride yet and um, you know it just depends with my YouTube channel does this year and, and how I feel I, you know I definitely want to come back for vocals um, GNCC we'll have to see about all right so right here we got a two line section let's go up this inside line all right just move right back up here
field section probably going to be cutting across the road. I think you said you'll have people here and you're probably going to have to stop. Um, so just be careful coming down here. Don't try to blow through it. I'm sure he'll tell you in the riders meeting. Like right here. We're going to be heading back across the road. So like I said, as soon as you come off that field section and there's little S turns, be careful.
the head and it just throws you to the right or to the left and you're just going to be going. Yeah, definitely riding cross country. You got to keep your wits up. You definitely don't want to be talking like I'm doing while you're riding. A lot of you guys, do you guys talk to yourself when you're riding? Are you thinking, you know, the race? Are you thinking after the race? Sometimes I'm thinking about after the race. I'm thinking, you know. All right, that's a cool little section. Out of into the creek, little creek bed up the hill. So that's what's fun about making tracks, man. You can come out here and just watch the lay of the land. Kind of like making a golf course. You can go out and check the land out. Say, all right, this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna throw this in there. It's a little field and then drop in and hard right. Careful. Now we're shooting down this little up top and it looks like an old little creek section. We're gonna jump back out of here.
a little breather. Get a mile marker right here. We got eight miles.